Five, six years ago. They wouldn't even book two blacks on the wow. same show. If two blacks came to town, and my name was nondescript, it was Steve Harvey. So I would come to town, and if Carl Strong was on the show, mm -hmm. or J. Anthony Brown, they'll send one of us home. Appreciate you. You are calm. And just for, for people to know, man, this was like last minute is last minute gifts. Yeah, but you came through for me that, uh, for that Disney thing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I remember, I know when people show up. Yeah. So I, plus I always wanted to come down here. I saw your spot on yeah. mine. So that's so just for, for the record, like if you ever decide to come to your room, and as you know how it is, you close that off, nobody knows, you come in, you come through that door. Cool. You and your guests get to enjoy the night. You cool. know what I'm saying? Bring yeah, the man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got you. Feel me? But I wanted to make sure cool. that, like, what gets done today is like, because there is a disconnect, I believe, right, with the OGs, right, mm -hmm. like yourself, yeah. and the younger generation. You That's know right. what I'm saying? I just want to merge and bridge that gap. That's kind of like why this cool. this show kind of came. I ain't want all the guests to be like young. People, I wanted to, to have a difference in, you know, I want people to be empowered. I want to be empowered too. That's cool. You feel me? So you know a lot. You a old wisey <laughs> veteran in the game. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Take a long time to. Go I to swear. Mm -hmm. I be trying to tell young cats that. Man, they be out here. They just wanted to pop off. <laughs> and I be going. It take a long time to make a lot of money, man. You can't just. That sustainable money is. Real talk, that, the, the first part, sustainable. It's hard to get to. Yeah. You know, it's, it's really hard, man. And I don't think they understand what it really takes. As hard as it is to get there, mm -hmm. and stay. it's harder to stay. To stay, to stay, yeah. real talk. And like, for you, you know what I'm saying? Like, you've done it on a, on a, on a scale where it wasn't no social media. No. You know what I'm saying? You just got it out the mud going to however you did it. You know what I'm saying? With a machete. <laughs> you understand? Know I was out here cutting paths, man. Like, I, was, I was the first black comedian to do uh, black nights in comedy club. Mm -hmm. You know, I was comedy in 85. You couldn't even, they wouldn't even book two blacks on the same show. On the wow. 85? Yeah. They wouldn't even book two blacks on the wow. same show. If two blacks came to town and my name was nondescript, it was Steve Harvey. So I would come to town and if Carl Strong was on the show mm -hmm. or J. Anthony Brown, they'll send one of us home. And it was usually me because I was the youngest. What? Yeah, so I just had to go home. I done drove all the way to Montgomery, Alabama. I got to go home. We'll check downstairs. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, ain't, 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 ain't it it back in 85, there were, there, it wasn't like it was cell phones or anything that they could get Dog, to. Dog, you couldn't tell nobody nothing. You had to dry it out. <laughs> I tell my kids I ain't had no cell phone. They say, Dad, everybody had a cell phone. Oh. At 28, yeah. I still didn't have a cell phone. Mm. That's it. <laughs> nah. That's it. It's like crazy. So man. today, man, today going to be real smooth and it's just going to kind of go like. Yeah. You, you, you did this a thousand times. <laughs> and I'm going to ask your insight on a lot of different things too. Cool. So, yeah. like I wanted to be like a father-son kind of chat, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Very yeah. candid, cool. real. Man, listen, I had the opportunity to see you when you hosted the, uh, not the ESPYs, it was the NFL, NFL arms. arms. And the ability to tap into like I mean, as, 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 as a performer, you don't know what the crowd going to be. Mm -hmm. You don't know how the crowd is going to react to certain jokes. And you may get that, oh, man, that's funny as shit. Or you may get like a, all right, now, Steve, come on now. Right. But your ability to, to flip flop, you know, appease to the white crowd, appease to the black crowd, make a joke that we all can laugh at. Yeah. And to know that, you know what I'm saying? It's hard because like NFL Honors is a hard group. Yeah. Because I got the young athletes mm -hmm. out there that I'm playing to. Right. I got the billionaire owners. Mm -hmm. I got Roger Goodell standing over there. Right. They got rules. Mm -hmm. They protect that shield. You understand? Right. So you can't come up in here with just, and what I think is funny 
it right. might not be funny for that shield. Right. So like, I love that, man, because I get to see the cats, because I'm a fan. Yeah. yeah. Turn around on small dog. That bitch is fitting it. He fitting to fold and crumble. Keep walking through the jungle, man, cause you you a lion. Show over. <laughs> I know you ain't supposed to do the shit when it's your own. She said, I'm going over here right now. You tell my mom. Let's grab it.